Hey everybody, this is Dr. Nick with the Springfield Wellness Center. I'm here with my lovely assistant Brooke today and we're going to be talking about migraine headaches and what you can do to fix those. Uh, so migraine headaches are kind of a tricky beast. It's, it's sometimes hard to determine what is causing the migraines and so that's why you really need to be checked out by a professional so that we can decide what exactly is the trigger. Uh, things that can trigger a migraine can be a hormone shift, uh, food allergies, um, just your, your daily life, like what you're exposed to uh, in your environment. And then also it can be coming from your neck and that's what we're gonna be dealing with today. So here in the office, uh, there are three things that we really uh, focus on when treating migraine headaches. The first of which is gonna be the most important and that's gonna be the alignment of your uh, two upper cervical vertebrae. So with your, with your spine, your cervical vertebrae are the top seven uh, bones and these top two really affect the nerves that go up into the head and can create migraine headaches. Now migraine headaches are different than say tension headaches or cluster headaches in that they have symptoms that those other headaches don't normally have. It can be nausea, sensitivity to light, uh, fatigue, dizziness, uh, blurred vision, and so they're a more severe version of, uh, of your regular everyday headache. So uh, some people have them daily, some people have them once a year. But if you are having them, I, I always say about headaches that they are, they're common, but they're not normal. So if you're having headaches, it means that something's going on that needs to be addressed. And a lot of the times it is going to be these top two vertebrae being out of alignment. So if your top vertebra is out of alignment, uh, it can press on that C1 nerve, that C1 nerve runs up into the head. C2 uh, is also a problem, but the, the big focus that we have with migraines is gonna be on C1. Now, if you don't have a problem with C1 or C2, we'll be able to tell that in the exam. If you don't, then it's probably coming from something else. But like I said, you have to get that checked out by a professional to, to be able to decide uh, if that's what's going on. So I'm gonna kind of show you how the, uh, how the adjustment would work. Um, so I'm gonna have Brooke lay back here. Brooke just went to a water park uh, on Saturday, so she's had some, uh, some wild rides, so we'll see if there's anything in there that needs to be addressed. So she doesn't have, well, there's a little bit right there. Uh, normally when I'm feeling uh, the top two uh, vertebra, I'm looking to see if anything is uh, pushing out on one side more than the other, or if there's any kind of restricted motion uh, in those joints. So Brooke has a little bit out here on the left. So the way an adjustment would work is if that vertebra is out of alignment, I'm gonna use my hands to try to push that vertebra back into alignment and also to get things moving a little bit better to give the, uh, the nerves uh, room to breathe. And when the pressure is taken off of the, off of the nerves, uh, that's what allows the headaches to be relieved. Because the only reason why you're having the headaches, if it is coming from your neck, is because there's irritation on that nerve. Once that irritation is, is relieved, then the headaches take care of themselves. So nice and easy, uh, got good movement there, and so uh, that should relieve, now that she's having a migraine headache right now, mm -hmm. uh, but that should help free up some of that restriction of motion that we found in there. Uh, so what we would want you to do is, that, like I said, get checked out by a chiropractor and make sure that those top two bones are in alignment and moving the way that they're supposed to. So that was a manual adjustment. Uh, there are times where uh, we would prefer to use an instrument instead of our hands to adjust the spine. Um, either a patient who's uncomfortable with uh, a cervical manual adjustment or someone who has uh, some reason, if they've had surgery, if they've had a fusion at, at some level in their spine, we wouldn't be able to adjust their spine normally. Uh, so when we, when we have that situation, we have an instrument called the activator, which is a more gentle way of, of adjusting uh, the cervical spine. And so there's no rotation, and it basically is a, uh, an instrument that very gentle on the spine. You can see that it's not really uh, jolting my hand at all, but uh, it's, it's pretty comfortable for people to be able to do that. So what we would do is we'd palpate the same way we did with Brooke before. Since I just adjusted her, I'm not gonna uh, do that again. But I would find the area that's out of alignment, put the instrument up to her neck, and then pull the trigger, I guess we could say. Uh, so like I said, that is a, uh, that is a, a lower force, um, non-rotational way to adjust the cervical spine uh, if you are dealing with migraines. So the second most important structure that we deal with when we're dealing with migraines is gonna be the muscles that attach 
uh, the, spine, the top of the spine to the skull. So those are called your suboccipital muscles. There's three muscles. They create a triangle on each side of the, uh, each side of the spine. And when one side or both sides becomes tight, it can either pull that vertebra out of alignment or it can keep that vertebra out of alignment and from allowing it to get back into place. So what we try to do is after the adjustment is we're going to uh, work with those muscles, try to stretch those out and uh, allow those, those to relax so that the adjustment uh, maintains its hold and is more effective. So we would get some biofreeze uh, onto our hand and, and it depends on which one of the muscles is tight. Uh, we were able to, uh, to palpate those areas and then we just take the head through the range of motion that that muscle would, uh, would do on its own. And while we're taking it through the range of motion, I'm dragging my finger across the muscle and stretching that out and allowing it to go back to its normal length. Normally with, with headaches, the muscle tension is on one side versus both. But if it's on both, we would address that as well. Now there is something that you can do at home. They sell, um, so this is called a suboccipital release. to where I would take my hands, put them right at the base of the skull, and then allow her head to fall back into my hands. Now, if you have someone at home that can do this for you, that's great. Hold it for one minute. It really allows the suboccipitals to release. If you don't, um, or if your husband or wife isn't willing to sit here for one minute and do a release, uh, the best thing to do would to find a suboccipital release. I can't remember what the word is. I searched for it the other day for, for a patient. Um, but they're basically hard, uh, hard rubber that, go, that you put underneath uh, right at the base of your skull and then just allow your head to lean back on it and it does the same thing. It's maybe not as effective as, as someone's fingers but, but it works pretty well. So uh, like I said, the muscles are going to be almost as important as the spinal alignment uh, because without the muscle work it's not going to allow the, uh, the, the spine to, to readjust the way it should. So the third tool that we use here in the office for migraines is going to be acupuncture. So Dr. Rob Calcaterra is uh, our doctor that really specializes in acupuncture around here. And he is able to use needles to help free up a person's chi. So the chi is basically the energy that is, that is within the body. Um, it's an ancient medicine. I'm sure most people know what acupuncture is. But using those needles, it allows the chi, if there are any blockages, to be able to, to flow freely. And so being able to utilize acupuncture along with chiropractic and the muscle work uh, really allows us to kind of throw the kitchen sink at it and attack it from, from all different angles. And so normally when, uh, when he does acupuncture for migraines, he's doing a few, uh, a few needles along the, uh, the length of the neck and then a couple at the base of the neck, a few in the hand, and then two in the knee. So hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, if you're suffering from migraines or someone you know is, uh, you know, it, getting checked out is going to be the number one thing that, that you can do to at least find out if it's something the chiropractic can help. Uh, if this video has helped you in any way, you know, make sure you like it or share it with someone or maybe even tag someone that you know might be suffering from migraines. Uh, you know, we help hundreds of people in the office with headaches and with migraines. We've seen amazing results and uh, we'd love to be able to help you out. To find out more about the Springfield Wellness Center and all the other services we offer, head over to our Facebook page or check out our YouTube channel.